Going live, going live, live. Okay, wonderful. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I am Tiff the Green Fairy. This is going to be a channeled message from the goddess Kali. I am a devotee of Kali. If you don't know Kali, yes, it is. <laughs> If you don't know Kali, you can take a second to Google her, K-A-L-I, all right? She is my vision of the mother goddess, terrible in form, but compassionate in nature, and deeply loving goddess. And when they say give it to God, You really can. You can give it to Kali because she takes all transgression into herself and transmutes it. And she is the liberator. She can liberate you from the bonds of karma and help you live a truly free life. If that's what you wish. Because, you know. With freedom comes great responsibility as well. Responsibility for yourself. All right. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you want to schedule a personal reading, email me at greenfairytarot at gmail.com. Readings are $33 an hour, and you can pay through Cash App or PayPal. Otherwise, this is a general reading for the collective. So while I certainly hope you get something spiritually nourishing out of it, um, if you hear something that you don't like or doesn't resonate, don't take it personally, right? Because this is a collective reading. So not everything's going to fit. You're looking for um, really just the stuff that pertains to you, right? Okay, we got four in the chat so far. Hi, everybody. I'm just taking a minute to get grounded by shuffling my cards. I also think, hi, Lion. I also think shuffling the cards helps um, to clear out the old energy from the last reading that I gave. Not that the last reading was a bad reading or anything. I rarely get, quote, bad readings. Hi, Anita. Okay. I'm pulling a pretty good crowd for the afternoon. This is nice. Ooh, these cards shuffle beautifully. This is my Kalima deck. I have to have Google up when I use these cards because um, they're not intuitive. They're specific. And for as long as I've been a devotee of Ma, I haven't, I'm not Hindu. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know Sanskrit or any other language. I think the I think all the scriptures were pretty much written in Sanskrit. But anyway, so I so you have to bear with me with these cards because um I have to look them up. But it's beautiful because then I get to learn about Ma. Ooh, Chamunda. I know Chamunda. She's the form of Kali that devoured the demons Chandra and Munda. So if you have demons in your life, hi Mel. If you have demons in your life, Ma is here to destroy them. And that, I mean, that could be literal. Like maybe you live in a haunted house or something like that. Like maybe you're dealing with negative spirits and shit like that. If you are, reach out to me. I might be able to help you. Um, Guya Kali. I won't charge you for any advice on dealing with evil spirits, okay? So don't let that be a block. Let's get it. We got Guya Kali. Beautiful artwork. I'll show it here in a minute. 
boom, popping right up. What are Guya Kali mantras? The Guya Kali mantra is a sacred mantra dedicated to the goddess Kali, who is a powerful and fierce form of the divine feminine in Hinduism. Right. What is Guya? Kali, the most powerful form of Shakti, is the destroyer of evil forces. This divine mother is worshipped in various forms, with Guya Kali being her tantric and most secretive form. So both forms, I mean, Kali is a destroyer of demons anyway. But both forms now coming out deal with the destruction of demons. Right? So let's pull some tarot. Actually, I want to get one more Kali Ma card. And then we're going to pull some tarot. Secretive, huh? Blue Tara. Okay, now Tara is one of the Mahavidyas, and the Mahavidyas are like the ten emanations of the great mother goddess in Hinduism, Durga. So, like, if the goddess had ten forms, which, you know, the goddess has innumerable forms. We're all the goddess. But all you have to think of it is like, oh, okay, she's one of the ten, like, supreme forms of the goddess. Okay. Because the goddess is universal. But blue Tara might have a special significance. In conclusion, a ka okay, a Kajati blue Tara is a powerful Buddhist deity who embodies the energy of wisdom and compassion. Blue Tara appears as a protector in the Nyingma lineage, lineage who express, expresses a ferocious, wrathful female energy whose invocation destroys all religious obstacles that engender good luck and swift spiritual awakening. All religious obstacles that engender good luck and swift spiritual awakening. Blue Tara, the fierce assistant of the green Tara. She is typically represented in paintings and can be viewed as protecting the Taras as well as all good beings. So these almost sound like the, like the Mahavidyas in Hinduism. Like they took the, the image of Tara and, and developed, expanded out from that and developed like a color system of emanations of the goddess. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Another form of, Protection here. Hold on. Protecting all Taras and good beings. I wonder if this, if blue Tara, like just by religious obstacles, if they don't mean something along the lines of the things that are, that are blocking your spiritual growth. Like maybe that's what, if you invoke blue Tara, maybe that's what you need to do is invoke this blue Tara. So this Chamunda and Guya Kali can come and destroy all the obstacles that are standing in your way spiritually. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to flip back over because I've been on YouTube, so I haven't seen what you guys are saying. Okay. Everybody's still there. Oh, me and the kids are doing great. Thank you. And I was going to pull tarot on those and I just swiped them up. So remember that you need to um, invoke blue Tara. You need to invoke blue Tara so that Shamunda and Guya Kali can come through and remove all the demons, all the obstacles from your life. That's it. It's inhibiting your spiritual growth. Maha Kali, this is just Ma. 
I mean, there's no such thing as just Ma, but this is Kali and her. Like, this means, Maha means great, I believe. So great, great Kali. So this is a confirmation that this is her wisdom coming through. And we have a hero here, Krishna. Let me look him up real quick. Hmm. Learn Kali Oracle cards. Number 14. Krishna. Okay. Learn Tara with Needy. I'm going to have to follow that. This surname occurs predominantly in Asia. It's a surname. But look, it's some kind of like two-headed, eight-armed hero. Well, we definitely better pull tarot on that one because I'm not sure. Maybe they're sending, maybe Ma's awakening something in you, like a divine, masculine, heroic kind of water sign, okay? <clears throat> Heartache. And Aquarius. Okay, what's Krishnal? Besides a surname in Asia, what's Krishnal, please? Wheel of Fortune, Six of Coins, Two of Cups, the Empress. The Empress has been coming out with the Two of Cups a lot. The Empress is going into a new romantic partnership, and it's going to be a good one. The Empress is going into a new romantic partnership, and it's going to be a good one. This Krishnal character... This might be your divine masculine. Water sign, heartache, Aquarius. Your person may have been like reborn, so to speak, after a, after having their heart broken. King of Swords and the Chariot. Well, there's your Aquarius and your water sign right there. Could have been a cancer they're dealing with. But I think what this is getting at is after he did, he made the decision to split, after he decided to split, he went in a whole new direction with his wife. Okay. Always comes back to the divine masculine. All right. So that's what's going on with him. Let's find out what's going on with you, Mahakali. Worthy. Rebirth. That's always good to hear. Hopeful. Okay. We stopped at three with masculine, so we'll stop at three with feminine. What's Mahakali? Nine of Queens. Two of Wands. Knight of Coins. Well. Somebody is going to be likely single and prosperous. Worthy, rebirth, and hopeful. 
the tower. Six of Cups. Yeah, there's like a... Um, there's an old um, relationship, an old connection that's coming to an end. I, I feel like I pull this a lot. A connection coming to an end. Maybe something that you thought, somebody you thought was a soulmate maybe. Or, I mean, they are possibly... But you have served enough life cycles with them. You're worthy of a rebirth. And this is what you're hoping for. Nine of swords, nine of cups, nine, nine. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you feel trapped now. Somebody out here feels trapped in a soulmate connection. They don't, it, it, they've outgrown this soulmate. Is what I'm picking up. This is divine feminine. <clears throat> they've outgrown this soulmate and um, knight of cups they're ready for a new love offer okay eight of cups yeah they're ready to walk away they're no longer fulfilled in their current relationship now if this isn't you if you're single Awesome. You're still here. You're just up here in these cards, right? This is where the other divine feminines have to get. That's where they're trying to get. So if you're already single, then you probably got your mind on your money right now. You're probably some kind of entrepreneur. And if you're not, then that's where you're heading. You're one step ahead of the game. Okay. Worthy, rebirth, and hopeful. What's hopeful? Hoping for what? Death. Yeah. This doesn't mean literal death. But somebody's hoping for like a, the death of a connection, the death of a relationship. This is what I'm picking up. Somebody wants a final end. Someone's, it's a divine feminine. Someone's just not happy in their current connection. But they may feel compelled to stay there. Page of Swords. Page of Wands. Usually Page of Swords is like my card of standing in your truth. Somebody's got to stand in their truth and come up with a plan of action. Page of, wow, page, page, page. Holy shit. Page of Cups. They have to trust their intuition. Something saying, that little voice in your head is saying, hey, I'm not happy. I'm not, things aren't going to change. I'm not in love with this person, whatever. Then, um, you have to listen to that inner voice. It's so hard, but you have to listen to that inner voice, the world and, and bring it to an end. The sun, because then you'll be happier. The Emperor. Ooh, yeah, you'll be happier because then then you'll open up the pathway for your actual counterpart to come into your life. Hanging Dragon, Queen of Coins. Yeah. But there's a some kind of test you have to pass first that involves money. I don't know. Making money? Recognizing your own worth. Yeah, taking the blinders off and recognizing your own worth. You have to do that first. Before you can have your person. Queen of Cups. Yeah. You're definitely, like, brimming with love. You're ready to give 
someone love. Three of Cups. You give it to your friends. You give it to your family. You may have children. Judgment in the Knight of Wands. It's time for you to take action on something, Divine Feminine. What is it? The nine of Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Holy shit. Okay, judgment. Yeah, it's time. Remember what that stuff I said about praying to Blue Tara? It's time for you to to shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that saying shit or get off the pot? It's time for you to shit. Does that make sense? It's time for you to shit because you've got like demons or obstacles or something's going on that's stopping you from progressing on your spiritual journey. You're supposed to be climbing that ladder and then you're you're supposed to be achieving like power, okay? Magic. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's, that's where you're headed, okay? So whatever is getting in your way, you need to pray for it to be removed so that you can stay focused on your spiritual journey and mastering, like, the magical arts. No shit. No shit. There's a lot of wands out here, and wands is witchcraft. There's a lot of wands out here. You're supposed to be studying magic. You're supposed to be progressing. Let's see. Six of Swords and the High Priestess. But right now you're pinned down. Why are you pinned down, High Priestess? Four of Coins. It's Limerence. I wonder if that wasn't it. You may be thinking about someone or something obsessively. And that's got you stuck. Page of coins. Yeah, you need to take a higher perspective. That's why you need to get you need to get back on track with your spiritual development. So that you can take a higher perspective. So this kind of thing becomes beneath you, right? Not that love and tenderness is beneath you, but like the longing, the obsessing, that kind of thing. That's beneath you. The star. Yeah, you'll heal. When you have unconditional love for all things, you'll heal. That doesn't mean you have to got to let people walk all over you like oh i have unconditional love go ahead and walk all over me no it doesn't mean that it's more about recognizing that the divine dwells in everything Okay, the star. Queen of Swords. Ace of Coins. It's looking like there's a fresh start coming to you after this split. For those of you that are in an unhappy circumstance who may be unable at the time this time to leave but it's looking like you get a fresh start or a second chance should you choose to do so the magician and the ace of cups yeah it's like as if by magic your heart starts to heal. And maybe you start to feel whole a little bit. Six of Wands. Yeah. Ooh, you're going to find a diamond in the rough. Mm 
five of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of competition around this diamond in the rough, but this competition is nothing compared to you. These are Komodo dragons, and you're a real dragon. A real dragon. That's kind of an oxymoron, but you know what I mean. Ten of Swords. Okay. Just be careful because people will try to gang up on you when you're not looking. So be careful who you let into your inner circle. Co-workers are not your friends, right? They're your co-workers. Be careful how much you share with people, okay? Don't be an oversharer at this time because there's people out there behind the scenes who are two-faced and would likely um, use that personal information you shared against you. Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's people out there who would love to see you lose. So don't be an oversharer, okay? Only share with those that are closest to you that you trust. Eight of coins. Yeah, a lot of people right now, their vibes are just low. Their energy just, it's heavy, devil. It's heavy energy. The hanging dragon and the two of coins. You and this new person might come together over business. My nose itches. My nose always itches when I start to do readings. Isn't that funny? Wonder who's talking about me. Isn't that what it means? Somebody's talking about you or thinking about you? But remember, you got to love yourself before any new person can come into your life. That's just how it is. Okay, my kid's playing with me. The new toy he got for his birthday. I love you, Makami. Okay. Ooh, right off the bat. Ancestor, alchemy, ancestor guides in reverse, guarded, and apology, forgiveness. So somebody is not being led by their ancestors right now. They're too guarded. They can't open up enough to let the spirits in. And they really want to apologize for something. Sun, strength, empowerment. I guess they thought they were being strong, maybe. Memories, nostalgia, but now they look back on the situation. Divine intervention, love offer, assistance, spirit guides. Wow, okay. So there isn't anything you need to do to embrace this new love, this person. It's looking like this person is going to come to you. Cycles, completion. Yeah, they're, they're currently completing some kind of karmic cycle right now. Action, courage, beginnings. Yeah, somebody's going to come to you. But this is somebody who, I don't see, I don't know, this person. Because sometimes you got to put yourself out there. You know what I mean? So let me put it to you this way. Don't be surprised if someone new comes forward with a love offer. Okay? At least I think it's someone new.
I did do a Scorpio reading earlier today about a romantic resurrection. Spy watching, inspecting. Okay, this is somebody who knows you. But you guys might not be very close. You may, you probably never thought about this person romantically before. Spying, feminine. Or maybe it's the divine feminine that's doing the spying. Attraction. Isolating thoughts. Two people are experiencing limerence for each other. And it's so hard for the two of you to come together because you're so in your heads about each other. Release, surrender, and purge. Yeah, I think that's what Divine Feminine's got going on right now. Lack and doubts. Yeah, you got to surrender any doubts or any feelings of lack. You are whole into yourself. And <clears throat> you're not crazy. You're on a twin flame journey. That kind of deal. Right? Spy, watching, inspecting. There it is again. Oh, my poor computer is just humming along. My computer's so old, you guys. Somebody's either watching you or you're watching somebody. Karma, balance, justice. Oh, maybe it's like a tables have turned kind of deal. You were looking somebody up and then you let it go. You stopped doing that. Maybe you, I don't know, blocked that person or something. Or you just stopped looking them up and now they're looking you up. Is that what's going on? Confusion, illusions. Yeah, somebody doesn't know why they do what they do. Somebody doesn't know why they're doing this. Feminine, action, courage, beginnings. Maybe somebody wants to apology, forgiveness. Feminine, action, apology. Guilt, sabotage, reunion, soul ties. So somebody's guilt is sabotaging their reunion right now. Might be divine feminine. Yes, this is divine feminine. Messages, rejection, separation, closed off. Yeah, you may have been rejected in your last message or something like that or been afraid of rejection so you separated in your last message you basically rejected yourself if that makes sense and that it's like it became a self-fulfilling prophecy like you thought this person's going to reject me so the way you worded your message like you wrote your own rejection into the message so that separation continued and you just closed off and stopped thinking about it. And now that guilt is sabotaging your union. You want to apologize. Yeah, you feel some kind of guilt. You feel some kind of way about how things went down. But I'm picking up it's unnecessary. Because your person seeds spring. Yeah. You planted some kind of seed the last time you and your person communicated. You planted some kind of seed. And I think they're going to be the ones to reach out to you. Assistance, stability, avoidance, alchemy. Yeah. Someone needs spiritual assistance to get back into the harmony to get their life back in harmony. 
and they need the help of their ancestors to help them get over their avoidance of change. Self-worth expectations. Yeah, you have to, you have to raise your self-worth. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lily. Hi, Jean Michael. John Michael. I'm good. Um, this whole video is advice. So if you just started tuning in, you'll probably get something out of it. Yeah, you got to raise your self-worth. I think this is a common twin flame thing. You may be the one doing the watching then. You got to cut that out. Because spiritually, it's setting you back. It's getting in the way of your spiritual journey. It's setting you back. That limerence is a bitch. The hermit. Okay. Yeah, you need to take some time out and be with yourself. Nine of Wands, most definitely. Ten of Swords. Yep, all of these are cards of solitude. You need to take some time out to recharge your batteries. Go camping by yourself for like two or three days. That's what I would love to do that. Take just a little vacation, a little spiritual retreat. Just rent a little cabin or some shit and spend like three days in the woods. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. It seems like you work so hard and then you just, but you still worry. What do you worry about? Seven of Swords in Reverse. It's not about somebody taking what's yours. That's not what you worry about. You worry about losing what you have. You worry about um, budgets, balancing it, how to spend your money. You That's what you worry about. Just reach out to your spirit guides, believe it or not. They'll show you where to spend your money. They'll show you where to plant your seeds. Think of your money as seeds, right? Wherever you spend it, you want to get a return. Think of it that way. Where can you spend your money that you're going to get the best return? You're going to go in a new direction. You're heading right into a tower moment. But don't worry because you're going to come out of this the king of swords, meaning you're going to be inconquerable, like unshakable, stoic. Damn, the empress. Yes. Two of swords. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Don't listen to the chitter chatter. Don't listen to the gossip and the bullshit because after you face this tower head on and step into that stoic king of swords energy, that's when you can fully embrace your divine feminine, your gentleness, your tenderness, your feeling side of yourself, right? You can fully embrace that and you can block out um, all the negativity and you can block out your ego better that part of you that says no 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 you shouldn't be this way you shouldn't think so deeply you shouldn't feel so deeply 
you can't possibly be in love with the world. That kind of thing. Um, yeah. Once you block that out, you'll finally plant the seeds to recognizing your own divinity. Okay? And that's what it's all about. Because then once you recognize your own divinity, like, what more do you have to strive for? Like, what can hold you back? Once you realize that you are God, what can hold you back? Oh, Jean Michael's going camping for a month or two. <laughs> That'd be a little long for me. If I was going to do that, I'd end up taking my family and renting an RV. Okay. All these are all jumbled up. Hold on, you guys. You guys are so patient. I really want to pull some moon cards for you all, so... This Twin Flame stuff, there's days when I just don't know about it, you guys. Days I think it's just limerence. It's just a mental disorder. It's just my own bullshit. Then I do a reading like this where I intend to channel the Mother Goddess. I intend to channel Kalima, and I do... And the twin flame stuff just keeps coming out. No matter how hard I try to get away from it, it just keeps coming out. Which makes me think that it truly is a spiritual journey. It truly is a destiny. Like... Once you've been designated Twin Flame, however that designation happens, however the split happens, once, once you get that designation, there's nothing you can do to shake it, you know? You just have to learn to live without the, your limerent object to the detriment of all your other relationships. And the only way to get out of it is to devote yourself to God. To live like a near monk-like existence. And then you have to wonder, but is that is that legitimate? Because if I got the object of my desire, if I ever got my person, wouldn't I just give up on that? Wouldn't I just give up on the spiritual stuff anyway? So if I'm only doing it out of pain for my person, for my limited object, then what benefit am I truly gaining? I guess you could call that a catch-22. But I say, fake it till you make it. I say, the gods put us in these tight situations because it's the only way for us to get started on the journey. And that it's probably going to take several lifetimes before you become fully aware and devoted to God anyway in your life. So maybe the whole twin flame thing is just the first of many experiences that you need to have. It's like the beginning. First you spend a lifetime in this twin flame limbo. No worries, Cece. First you spend your you know, a life in this limbo. 
And then once you learn through your pain, you learn, once you get past your pain, you eventually learn to appreciate the spiritual life for what it is so that you wouldn't want to go back. That's my theory. But this takes several lifetimes. At least it's going to for me, I can tell already. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. End of a tough cycle approaches. I love this card. Nothing will come of this situation. I love this card too, because the way I interpret this card is something that's been weighing heavily on your mind. Something you've been worrying obsessively over is not going to amount to anything. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. We'll see if one more wants to come out. Nope. Okay. Ooh, we got to do the cosmic here. Did you hear that they're setting up a moon time? Because they're doing space spaceships and shit. Listen to me. They're doing spaceships and shit, you guys. They got to have moon time now. It's moon time. <laughs> anyway, no. NASA. NASA is um, setting up the, the moon with its own time zone so that the uh, space stations, because they're going to start to to more or less colonize the moon in a sense, right? Like technologically speaking, colonize the moon. So they're putting up a bunch of space stations or they're going to one big space station. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out. But um, yeah, so they need to have some kind of time on the moon so they can communicate they're not calling them, which makes a lot of sense. They're not calling them when they're trying to sleep and shit like that. You know, like, all right, well, it's, I got to let you go. Ma. It's midnight moon time. You know, and I got to get some sleep. I got to be up at six in the moon. So. All right. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Tough cycle. The tower. Ooh, I got chills. I got chills. They're multiplying. Yeah, look at this. The tower. The end of a tough cycle approaches. There's going to be a tower moment. You know what this means, though, don't you? That everything's going to fall apart and crumble, and it's going to be magnificent. Everything that's been holding you back. Imagine you're a princess locked in a tower, okay? And there's like a safety bubble around you, and then that tower just crumbles. Like you may be in it, but there's a safety bubble around you. Okay. Or you're a princess in a tower and you finally escape. And like two seconds after you escape, the tower crumbles. Like no more. No more imprisonment. The end of a tough cycle approaches with the tower. That's, that's really good. Nothing will come of this situation. The Ace of Swords. Okay, so that's the truth right there, right? You are protected. The walls may crumble around you, but you are protected. Okay? You will not be harmed. Temperance. It's time. Wheel of Fortune. It was destined. Yeah, it was whatever is about to fall apart. And this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a marriage. Okay, this could be a partnership just because of the way this reading has been going, especially for Divine Feminine. Um, it was destined. Don't, don't, you, well, you're going to grieve, but don't feel guilty and don't try to cling to it because it was destined to 
go down this way. Does that make sense? And how did I wrap this around my hand? I love that. How did I do that? Bingo, baby. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. The devil. Ooh, what's the devil? Knight of Cups. So you may have accepted a toxic love offer at one point and you're afraid to step out of it. Yeah, somebody wants to keep you in confusion. But you don't understand what's been working behind the scenes for you is a, a twin flame reconciliation, a twin flame reunion. And a fresh start, a second chance, or be, I, I like better. So I think this is a this twin flame. You know each other, but you're probably not in contact right now. Okay. Um. This is what's been going on behind the scenes. Is a second chance. So please, 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 don't be afraid to walk away. Right. Don't be afraid. When this tower hits, do not be afraid to walk away, because this has been a long time in the making. Okay, the hermit again. Yeah, you need to spend some time on your own, getting reacquainted with yourself. Any last minute messages? Let's, you know what? Let me pull these wild tarot. The moon in reverse. So something that's been going on behind the scenes, probably the plan of the gods, is about to be um, revealed. Okay? The moon in reverse. You are protected. All right? So this is going to be something violent. This is going to be something earth-shaking. This is going to be something destructive. We are channeling Kalima after all. Okay? So buckle up and prepare for impact. Yeah, but you are cocooned. You are protected. Okay, that's, I cannot stress that enough. Something big and is going to happen. The fool, yeah. Take a leap of faith. Have faith. Have, you just got to have faith. Okay? That ma is protecting you. There's a breakup coming. There's a major split coming. Don't hold on to what's not yours. Somebody's going to try and hold on to you. That's what I'm telling them. The hair font. Yeah, this could be a marriage that's coming apart. Judgment. But it's for the best. At least for divine feminine's sake anyway. Yeah, because she's got a more perfect union on the horizon awaiting her. Mother of Pentacles. Yeah, a prosperous one at that. So buckle up and brace for impact. Because the tower is going to hit. Power is going to fall down, and you're going to get that radical freedom that you've been dreaming about. All right, let's get some messages from your beloved, and then we're out of here. Other goddess, Holy Spirit, may we please have some messages for the Divine Masculine Collective for the Divine Feminine. We have, I'm sorry, and I'm not interested in you. Ooh, ouch. Okay, you have to pull on that because that flies in the face of everything we've done. My soul is in love with yours. I won't be reaching out soon. Okay. Okay, this might be, I think I see what's going on. This might be what Divine Feminine, I don't know why Divine, why Ma did it this way, but this might be what Divine Feminine is getting ready to tell someone remember you guys mirror each other oh that's right you guys mirror each other 
No, so this could be, this could be what you're, both of you are getting ready to say to someone. What's I'm sorry? Ace of Pentacles, there's that second chance. That second chance running towards happiness. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in you. What's that? Seven of Cups, confusion. So it sounds like the Divine Masculine. Yep, yep. Somebody's, somebody's just trying to confuse this Divine Masculine. So he's going to have to go in a completely new direction. I won't be reaching out soon. Four of Cups. Okay. That's like having what you want right underneath your nose. The moon. Subconscious. Yeah, somebody's got something good, but they feel like they're drowning. And then what's my soul is in love with yours? The magician. Okay. King of Swords, Strength, the Tower, Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's walking away. I think this is a conversation that the Divine Masculine is having with another feminine. And I think that's how they're explaining it. I think that's how they're explaining it is their person is that their soul is in their soul is in love with with you, right? Their soul is in love with you. Because everything else in this reading is pointing towards a reconciliation. Now, it could also mean that your person's in denial of your connection. And if that's the case, that's going to clear up soon. There's that magician again. No, I think somebody knows what's going on. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, yeah. So it's not just divine feminine who's stuck in an in a relationship that is less than fulfilling. It's also divine masculine or divine masculine is beginning to feel unfulfilled because he's trying to think about divine feminine. So. All right. Woof, that was intense. Does anybody have any questions over the reading? Anything else you want me to pull on real quick? When will you meet your twin flame? Death? Maybe October, November? Page of Pentacles. Maybe like while you're at work? Any signs would help? By what sign? There'll be a churchgoer. You're welcome. Anybody else? I got to let it go here soon. Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> okay, guys. Will you have to choose between love and work? Is somebody 
asking you to choose between love and work. Are you a workaholic? The Hermit, you may choose neither. Ace of Wands, yeah, you may end up going on that camping trip. You may choose neither. You may choose neither work nor love. You may choose to just do your own thing for a while and be by yourself. You shouldn't have to choose. Yeah, that's what I say. Unless you're like a workaholic and you never spend time with your family, you're working like 15 hours a day. Then somebody might be like, hey, you need to work a little less. You need to get on a more regular schedule so that we can have a relationship. Otherwise, I'm going to find somebody who can spend time with me. Okay, guys, I'm going to let it go. Mwah. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Goodbye.